De grootste, duurste en misschien wel hardste politieke campagne ter wereld. De strijd om het Amerikaanse presidentschap. Voor mij is dit over ons land weer together again. En ik zal alles doen wat ik kan. Buffy Wicks weet als geen ander hoe zo'n campagne werkt. Als een van de naaste vertrouwelingen van Barack Obama gaf zij vorm aan de winnende campagnes van president Obama. Ik ben een grote Obama supporter. Ik begon werken voor Barack Obama early in 2007. Uh, I was on his campaign in 2008 and 2011 and 12. I worked for him at the White House. I love President Obama. Hoe werkt een campagne in Amerika? Hoe wint een campagneteam het vertrouwen van de kiezer? Tuurlijk, tv-spots, social media, publiciteit en ga zo maar door. Toch is dat niet genoeg. Er moet contact gelegd worden met al die miljoenen kiezers persoonlijk. Well, I'm a big believer in grassroots organizing. Uh, with really engaging voters and activists uh, in the community, in the electoral process. You know, in America we have, I think, a different style than you have here in the Netherlands. Uh, where we build up uh, programs to really engage these voters locally. Uh, so I'm a big believer in that. So how does that work? Do you phone all those people? How does it work? You uh, find leaders in the community uh, and help support them so that they can find other people in their social network to be an active part of the campaign. You train them on how to do phone banks, canvases, uh, to come to the office, uh, to reach out to voters, to reach out to folks in their um, social networks, and really be a part of, of the campaign that you're on. Mensen zo voor je winnen dat ze vrijwillig tijd en energie in jouw campagne gaan steken. Dat is het geheim. Die vrijwilligers maken hun vrienden, collega's en buurtgenoten op hun beurt enthousiast voor de campagne die zo groter en groter wordt. If you are going to go out there and talk to your friends and talk to your neighbors and knock on doors and make phone calls, if you are ready to once again believe in the promise of this country, then I guarantee you, we will not just win this election, but you and I together, we're going to change the country and change the world. Zo moet er een steeds groter worden de sneeuwbal ontstaan die kan eindigen in de overwinning. Het charisma en imago van de leider blijft doorslaggevend. A big piece of this is you have to have a candidate that inspires people to get involved. Um, you know, on the Obama campaign that I worked on in 2007 and 8 and in 2011 and 12, you know, we had a candidate at the top of the ticket that really inspired people to want to get involved in the campaign. And then your campaign has to put resources into that. You know, we had 2,700 organizers across the country in the United States who were organizing locally in those communities. And so I think there needs to be an investment in resources from the campaign leadership that really values grassroots organizing as a strategy to win. Campagne voeren in de VS is bovenal hard werken, zo vertelt Buffy Wicks. Een jaar lang geen weekend, werkweken van 100 uur. En dan maar hopen dat de kandidaat geen uitgeleider maakt. Well, a good leader, I think, is someone who uh, has a very clear point of view. Um, they have an articulated uh, public policy platform. And you know who they are. You know their bio. You know where they came from. You know the stories of their life. Uh, that helps you to understand as a voter their values. Uh, so I think that all of those elements are very important. Hillary Clinton! <laughs> Don't you someday want to see a woman president of the United States of America? Volgens Buffy Wicks wordt democratisch kandidaat Hillary Clinton de toekomstige president van de VS. De republikeinen zijn verdeeld en bovendien, Hillary heeft iets speciaals. Ze kan de eerste vrouwelijke president worden. Iets wat haar campagneteam na enige aarzeling meer en meer in de strijd gooit. Well, I think there's um, the campaign and she herself have talked about that idea more so than we saw in 2008. I think she's leaning in a little bit more on it and I think... Um, I think that's a good thing. I think the country is ready for it. Maar is Hillary Clinton wel echt genoeg? Ze lijkt haar meningen aan te passen aan die van de meerderheid. Ze was voor de oorlog in Irak en nu weer tegen. Als velen het willen, is zij ook plots voor het homohuwelijk. Staat Hillary wel ergens voor? Kan ze de kiezer in het hart raken? I've sat and watched Hillary and been moved by her. Absolutely. So I think that she can connect uh, with voters and I think we're starting to see more and more of her come out and really connect with voters in an authentic way. And that's being reflected, I think, in her position in the Democratic primary process right now.